Sup everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you various ways in routing your audio to live stream. So in this example, I'm using Serato DJ Pro. I have a Piney DJ DDJ S1 and an audio interface, M Audio M Track 2x2M. Both of these are connected over USB to a Windows 10 laptop. So if we go to preferences and to the audio tab, you see there's a couple of options here if you have downloaded the latter versions of Serato DJ Pro in which you need to. There's one called use laptop speakers. That is if you don't have any speakers connected to your controller or haven't purchased any yet, you can always use the laptop speakers. And there's also another option here, make audio available to other applications. And it requires you to install this virtual audio interface. So whether Serato have made an agreement with this company or they found this uh, very reliable, I'll leave that for your interpretation. It takes you to this page on how to install it and how to configure it. I'm not gonna go through that, so let's go back here. I've already ticked this, I'll get out of preferences. I'm gonna drag OBS and I'm gonna hit play. But before I do that, in OBS, you've gotta add a or, or an audio output capture. I've gone ahead and already done that, which is over here, virtual audio cable. I scroll down, that is, this is where it is, the VAC. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the volume up here. Okay, so it's definitely working. So I've heard a report that it may not work as well on Windows 11. That is that virtual audio cable that puts a very, very low signal. The thing is with the internal, or uh, well, the virtual sound cards is that there's no uh, way of increasing the gain. You'd have to increase the volume on either end of the, of the signal flow, either increasing the gain on your controller, which I do not recommend unless you clip the signal, so you have gotta be careful, or the other end of the spectrum, which is OBS. So there are some gain and some other filter options to enhance your audio. So if you don't wanna go through that you know, default option, there is another way by using this. So I've already got this ticked. I have my audio interface here and it mentions in this little caption here, example laptop speakers or external sound card. What this means is whatever default speaker output is set on the window side that is outside of Serato, the audio will be routed there as well, which is pretty cool. So if I uh, head back to OBS, so I've already added in an output capture like that. I've got the volume, I've got the volume down. So I will turn this down. Now let's play the track. All right. So if I bring that up. Okay, there you go. So by the way, I have no audio cable uh, connected between my S1 and my audio interface. This is all connected over USB to my laptop. So it's simply routing the audio from Serato on the laptop to the M Audio back into OBS and then, uh, then to live stream, which is pretty cool. Say you want to use another virtual sound card. So I've gone ahead and Googled up one. Uh, it's a free download called VB Cable available on both the Windows and a Mac. So I have installed this. Let me get back onto Serato. So make sure this is unticked. You select the audio interface, or you select the speaker output first, and then you tick. Okay, so just remember that. All right, let me go back onto OBS. Make sure that this one is turned all the way down. Go to VB Audio. Again, I've added in an extra um, sound output capture, which is down here. Let me hit play. Now I know that OBS is covering uh, Serato, so just turn that down. See the waveform and I'm scratching it as well. All right, so let me turn up VB Audio. Okay, so I won't be able to hear it from my end, but through the video, you surely will. All right, let's turn it and stop. 
So another thing I found useful for uh, Windows users on OBS is there is a desktop audio channel here. So this will mean anything that is going to the default speaker output will be routed to here for you to record a center live stream. So if I play, turn this up, there you go. That is pretty cool. Saves you from adding in another audio capture. I don't think this is available for, uh, for Mac, but definitely available here. Or you can always connect audio cables from your controller to your audio interface and you feed the signal from your audio interface. You can do that as well. But there you have it, guys. These are the several ways in routing audio to live stream. Hope you found this useful. I will add all the links that I've mentioned in the description. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.